The number average molecular weight is a common means of characterizing a polymer sample. Polymers typically consist of chains of varying size. In order to characterize samples as a whole, scientists will often use the number average molecular weight, which is denoted by an uppercase M and a lowercase n. And what it essentially tells you about a sample is within the sample what the average chains molecular weight is. Not only does this give you information about the size of the chains within the sample, it might also give you information about the degree of polymerization or the conversion. Experimentally, this value can be determined by a number of different methods, including GPC, gel permeation chromatography, NMR, and osmotic pressure. Mathematically, the number average molecular weight is defined in a number of different ways. One of the most common definitions is that it is equal to the sum of the number of chains with a molecular weight mi times their respective molecular weight over the sum of the total number of chains. This is also equivalent to the sum of the mole fraction of chains with molecular weight mi times their respective molecular weight. Sometimes it's more convenient to define samples and determine the number average molecular weight using weight fractions. And to do this, it is equal to 1 over the sum of the weight fraction of chains with a certain molecular weight divided by their molecular weight. Now using these mathematical definitions, we can solve a for the number average molecular weight of a polymer sample. So in this table, we have a theoretical polymer distribution. In the left column, we have the number of chains of a corresponding molecular weight, which is in the right column. These molecular weights are in kilograms per mole. So using the definition we defined earlier, we will be able to solve for the number average molecular weight. So first, we need to sum up the number of the product of the number of chains multiplied by their respective molecular weight. So to do this, we'll, for the first case, we have 20 chains that are 10 kilograms per mole plus 25 chains with a molecular weight of 15 kilograms per mole and so on and so on. And that's all over the sum of the number of chains. So that'll be just 20 plus 25 plus 20 plus 5. If you do the math, it is equivalent to 1,225 over 70, which works out to 17.5 kilograms per mole. So there we have our number average molecular weight. This is just one means of characterizing a polymer sample. In later videos, I will talk about other numerical values that researchers use to characterize polymeric materials.